the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, I am going to be touring this wonderful Clayton Homes here in Lexington, South Carolina. It's the tr Tradition 2868. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm saying it wrong, I'll post it on the screen, okay? This is the Tradition 2868. Let's go in and take a look at this Clayton Homes. Just a quick disclaimer, I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I view. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing, or specifications, all the information that I have will be in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. Oh, beautiful. So nice. All right, so this is where we came in. We came in there from the front door and it opens up to this living room. So pretty. All right, you got this living room here. Really pretty. You actually have space for an entry table. Love that mirror. You actually have space for an entry table here if you choose or a bench so that your guests can take their shoes off. Really nice. Beautifully decorated. So pretty. Two big beautiful windows. All right. Overlooking the living room, you have your dining room and kitchen. Let's take a look at the dining room first. This is your dining room. Love the two tone colors in here lots of space in front of these two big windows for your dining room table you can actually put a much bigger table here if you choose or you can leave it like this so you have space you can even put a buffet on this side so pretty now here's your kitchen you've got like the butcher block counter on the island space for two bar stools here it's a wide island, so really nice. You could actually be prepping food while your guests are sitting there, if you like. You've got counter space, cabinet space, cutouts for your decor. Love, love, love how they have the pops of color in here. You've got a built-in microwave, all Frigidaire appliances. Really pretty really pretty and you even got two cabinets here in the island for additional storage love 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 it love the pendant lighting beautiful this house is beautifully done so nice love it so i'll come over here and try to scan the room again for you Really pretty. So off to the right of the kitchen are the additional bedrooms. Let's go ahead and take a peek see down each hall. To the left, you have your back door in the utility room. Your washer and dryer will go here. And then you've got additional space over here for whatever you choose, a craft area, mud room area, deep freezer and craft room additional storage just whatever you like all right so that's the utility room really pretty and i like the fact that this door closes so if you have guests they don't have to see your dirty laundry across from the utility room is guest bedroom number one Got a standard closet in this bedroom. Again, this is guest bedroom number one. All 
All right. Continue down the hall. You've got your mask, your guest bath. Standard bathroom, but it's lots of space in here. And then you've got guest bedroom number two. with a walk-in closet. So you got a walk-in closet there. I would extend the shelving to maximize the space. But this is guest bedroom number two. And then across the hall is guest bedroom number three. So this is a four bedroom, you guys. Guest bedroom number three with another walk-in closet. Again, you can bring the shelving either way to maximize the space. Very nice. Now this tradition has a bonus room. You've got a family room, a den, a playroom, a cozy room, a man cave. It has a real fireplace in it with a brick accent around it, the stone accent around it, and a mantle. Put your TV up there. Really nice. I'm gonna step back and let you just take a look. It isn't the biggest room, but this is adequate. Like, my husband would love having this additional space, and my living room would stay clean because this would be his man cave. Really nice. Got the beams in the ceiling, if you choose. Really pretty, nice size room, you guys. Really nice. All right, coming back through the house. So let me make sure you understood what just happened. Down this hall, we've got utility room, guest bedroom, guest bathroom, and then in that hallway are two bedrooms. So this is a four bedroom. You got three guest bedrooms and a guest bath on this side plus a bonus room, okay? Back through the kitchen and dining room and living room to this side is the master. So here's your master. Oh, I love the two-tone. You got the dark feature wall and all the rest of the walls are a light gray. Really nice. So all of this is the master. Finding the light, you guys. This is the master. Through this door is the master ba bathroom. You've got two sinks here with two cabinets. You got your large tub, toilet, sink above, I mean, uh, window above the toilet. And here's your shower here. Really nice. And then around this corner is the master walk-in closet. Look how big that closet is, you guys. Really nice. Huge closet. I love, love, love this. It's hard to resist a bad boy who's a good man. I know that's right. <laughs> Okay, let's go see how much this is. This is tradition. Let me make sure. I've been saying 2868, but let's be sure, you guys. Yeah, tradition 2868B. This home is 110483. With the fireplace, it's 1985. This is the base price. So with the upgrades and the fireplace. 198.5. Really pretty. All right. Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Day.
Thank you.